the diamagnetic material. So the example of diamagnetic material are copper, silver, gold, etc. So let us uh, see what is my diamagnetic material first. So number one, this is my diamagnetic material. Let me give the number one point of diamagnetic material. So the diamagnetic material, dia, the diamagnetic material are weakly repelled by weakly repelled by external magnetic field. It means that whenever we put a diamagnetic material in external magnetic field, the diamagnetic field, diamagnetic material is weakly repelled by external magnetic field. Now this external magnetic field, you can also call this as magnetizing field. Magnetizing field. Why? Because we have studied that magnetizing field is that field which is used to magnetize a magnetic material. Similarly, we are also trying to magnetize the diamagnetic material by keeping this in an external magnetic field which is magnetizing field. That means that whenever we place a magnetic diamagnetic material in external magnetic field or a magnetizing field, it will repel very weakly. Okay, the diamagnetic material will be repelled. It means that we cannot magnetize the diamagnetic material. Okay, so it means that we cannot, we can not magnetize, magnetize the diamagnetic material. Very important. Diamagnetic material. Okay, so this is very important. It means that we cannot magnetize. What does this mean that whenever we leave the magnetizing field, there will be no magnetic property which we have already uh, studied taking an experiment example in magnetization. We have taken an example of screw gauge. Please uh, watch that video for the better understanding. So, cannot magnetize, and it means that that is that is the that is diamagnetic diamagnetic magnetic material okay material do not do not retain magnetic field after removing an external magnetic field so this is very important point so we saw that first whenever we place a diamagnetic material in external magnetic field or magnetizing field it will repel very weakly. It means that the diamagnetic material cannot be magnetized. It means that again, whenever we remove the magnetizing field or external field, what happens is it do not retain any magnetic property. So this is number one. Number two is that the magnetic susceptibility chi is small and negative very very important if the value of chi is small and negative then we directly say that that material is diamagnetic material for an example the sky it means that the sky is less than zero isn't it negative means less than zero because if you have this number line Okay, this is 0, minus 1 and minus 2. These are plus 1 and plus 2. So negative is means this side. So this is less than 0. Chi is less than 0 and it is greater than minus 1 or equal to. Understood? So this is the value of chi for diamagnetic material. It means that the values which lies 
from 0 to minus 1. Here, this values, if this values lies from 0 and minus 1, then that all the values belong to diamagnetic material. So, it is from minus 1 to 0. You can write this one, okay? For an example, let me give you the example. Just remember the negative. If it is negative, then it is diamagnetic. If the chi is negative, directly you will say that magnetic material is diamagnetic material. For an example, uh, copper, okay? Copper, the chi value is equal to, it has to be negative, okay? So, 0 0.000098, okay? This is the value and for gold, let me write, gold uh, has this chi equal to negative 0 0.0000 36 and uh, uh, copper, okay, let me go to the silver also, for silver, silver, the value of chi is equal to minus 0 0.000000 uh, 0, 0, 0, not 0, 4 zeros, okay, 0, 0, 2, 6. So all these values belong between minus 1 and 0. So whenever we say that, whenever we see the magnetic susceptibility is negative, then we have to say that the magnetic material is diamagnetic. Okay. Number two is done. Now let me go to the number three, that is permeability mu. Okay, is less than less than one and Okay, let me write less than 1 and positive. Okay, less than 1 and positive. It means that this mu is less than 1 and greater than 0. Right? Why? It is less than 1 and positive. What do I mean by positive is that if you have this number line and if it is 0, it is 1, it is 2, then it is less than 1, less than 1 is in this side and it is positive, it means that it should not go from beyond this 0, so it is from this, understood, it is less than 1, that is from this to this side in number line, I am saying it is positive, what does it mean is that it has to be above 0, okay, from this side because if I go this side, it will become negative, but the magnetic permeability is positive. So, whatever is the values in between them, for an example, uh, 0 0.09876, okay, 0 0.5723, 0 0.09287, all these values who is less than 1 and greater than 0 have if the value is this much then that magnetic material is also diamagnetic material okay negative directly diamagnetic positive but less than 1 that is also diamagnetic material so magnetic susceptibility negative or diamagnetic material the magnetic permeability less than 1 but positive just remember like a number line then that is diamagnetic material now number 4 I will write number 4 is that when placed in a non-uniform magnetic field it moves towards weaker magnetic field so first of all let me uh, consider a region this region okay this is the region in which there is non-uniform magnetic field so what do you mean by non-uniform magnetic field non-uniform magnetic field is that magnetic field in which the magnetic fields are different okay some very strong some very weaker okay so I will consider this magnetic field okay this is one region of magnetic field so this is magnetic field, here is my magnetic field, I will call this as magnetic field D1 
and I will again have another magnetic field like this. This and this and this. So this is my magnetic field too. And this is the magnetic field lines are very crowded and this is strong. Why? Because the magnetic field lines are very crowded and this is weak. Why weak? Because the magnetic field lines are very far away from each other. So this is region of region of non uniform magnetic field. So now let me place a diamagnetic material. So this is my diamagnetic material. Okay. Now what happens is whenever we place a diamagnetic material in magnetic field, we saw that it will be repaired, very weakly repaired. So this magnetic field will try to repair in this direction, this diamagnetic field will try to come in this direction because of the repulsion of this magnetic field. At the same time, there is another magnetic field. This also try to repel this diamagnetic material in this form. But if we see this, both the magnetic fields are different. This is strong and this is weak. So we know that the repulsion due to a stronger magnetic field will win as a result of which this diamagnetic material will be moved towards in this direction. Why? Because this is a strong magnetic field, it will repel in this direction. Okay, though it will also repel, but this is very small repulsion, so it will not win the magnetic field which is strong that will win and it will be repelled towards the weaker magnetic field. So when placed in a non-uniform magnetic field, it moves towards weaker magnetic field. So it moves towards the weaker magnetic field. So you draw this diagram. Now lastly I want to give you the last number five is that the the magnetic field try to avoid diamagnetic material. What does it mean? It means that if I consider a diamagnetic material, okay, so this is my diamagnetic material. So if I place a magnetic field, okay, if I try to bring a magnetic field like this, then all the magnetic field do not pass through the diamagnetic material okay so this is how it look like so this is the direction of magnetic field please draw it properly and very wisely so all these are the direction of magnetic field now if you see here the all the magnetic field lines are not passing through the diamagnetic material okay so it is avoiding the diamagnetic material that is why the diamagnetic material is repelled by external magnetic field these diagrams are very important next topic is paramagnetic material thank you